hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today's tutorial is on how to cut and sew a flay gown for a baby girl so i have my ankara fabric i have my ruler my measuring tape my scissors my french curve a black bias and also a tailor strap so my fabric is actually on fold as you can see it's on fold and it's 25 inches long 25 by 25 inches long which means from this point from this point to this point is actually 25 inches that is this point to this point is 25 inches and from here to this open part is 25 inches so I'm just going to use this and form a triangle shape going to take this part or this end of my fabric and just make a triangle shape joining it with this part here just going to take here this part here and join it to this part to form a triangle shape this is it guys it's very simple And I'll be taking my measurements from the folded part of my fabric, which is this part. So, for my measurement, I have 9 inches as my shoulder length. I have 9 inches as my shoulder length, which I'll be dividing by 2 to, to give me 4.5. I'll be adding extra f half an inch to make it 5 inches. So from here to here, I'm just going to mark. And this this will be my shoulder line. This is five inches from this point to this point is five inches. And the full length of my of my gown is nineteen inches. So I'm just going to mark nineteen inches. Yeah. This is the full length of the baby's gown. 19 inches mark the same here so I'm just going to go ahead and connect this point For the neck depth, I'm using a de neck depth of one inch since it's a baby's dress. Just going to mark one inch here. And for the neck, neck is five inches. Dividing five inches by two will give me 2.5 inches. I'm just going to mark 2.5 inches here. And I'll use my French curl to connect the point. This one inches is for the the back neck depth. This is just for the back. After separating our fabric, I'm going to cut for the front. And this is the shoulder. I'm just going to go down by half an inch for the shoulder slope and come down by four inches for my armhole. To use my ruler and connect this to create my shoulder slope, and then this is four inches for my armhole. Just going to find the midpoint, which is two inches, going by half an inch. And create my armhole curve. So 
so this is it guys for the bust the bust is 21 inches 21 inches divided by four will give me five and quarter but i'll be taking eight and a half inches since is a flay gown i'm just going to connect it all the way down So this is it guys, I'm just going to go ahead and cut I'm just going to go ahead and separate the front piece from the back. This is it. The front and this is the back. For the front, I'm just going to add an extra one inch to make two inches. You can make yours 2.5, but I'm just going to make mine two inches. Connect it to my shoulder and cut it out. So this is for my front. This is my front neckline, and this is my back neckline. I'm just going to join this together. going to paint the shoulder the front facing front just going to go ahead and paint the shoulder together so after painting I'm going to take it to my machine and sew at half an inch on both sides. On this side, I'm going to sew half an inch. Sew half an inch. So guys, this is what it looks like after sewing the shoulder. I'm just going to go ahead and use my bias to decorate my neckline my armhole and also my flea which is the down part of this beautiful dress and i'm going to be making the bias visible at the front because i just want the extra touch of black at the front just to give it a different look so i'm just going to go ahead and decorate my neckline my armhole 
and the flake so guys this is the end of this video and this is my final look on my flay gown this is how beautiful it came out so I'm just going to do a quick illustration on how I got this let's go ahead and fold your fabric into two fold it into two at equal length just make a perfect square For my fabric, I used 25 inches on all sides, 25 inches. Make sure it's on fold, 25 inches on all sides. If you want a longer length, just you can add more. You can make it 35, 40, 50, as long as you want it. But since it's a baby's dress, I just took 25 inches all around to make a perfect square. And then just go ahead and make a triangle shape from this square shape. Like this. This is it, guys. So just make a triangle shape from this. For this point, just divide your shoulder length by two and mark it here where you have the measurement. Find your, your neck width and neck depth this way. Make your armhole curve like this. Find your length. That is the length of your gown. I'm not using any measurement here, guys. I'm just making it. Just doing a free sketch, freehand sketch, rather. I'm just going to go ahead and put it down. So guys, if this video was helpful, kindly like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so very much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.